Matt Holquist here with the QuickBooks University. Hey, I wanted to show you a couple of tips here that uh, I think can save you, um, could save you a bunch of time in working with your QuickBooks file. Okay, the first one is if you go to the company drop-down menu, all right, and you look at bulk enter business details, all right? So it's gonna bring up this screen. This may look familiar. This is in the interview when you set up your QuickBooks file, um, but uh, you can also go back to this at any point in time. And let's say that you need to add a bunch of customers to your QuickBooks file. Um, you could be converting from a different uh, you know, program, or maybe you have them in a CRM software, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can go here and click Add More, okay? And you've got these options. You can import from Outlook, Yahoo, Gmail, or paste from Excel. Okay, we're going to choose this. All right, so if we hit continue, you'll see here, you can choose, is this a customer, is this a vendor? So for example, if you have a CRM list and it's got all your customers and vendors in it, um, if you export that to Excel, uh, you can then, you can copy and paste the columns. So for example, if you have all the customers and you've got all their names, and company and first and last and email and all this additional information. What you can do is from that Excel file, let's copy that column and then paste it in here and then make sure you choose that it's a customer and you can add them all at once. Okay, so this can save you a ton of time as opposed to having to go through each customer and change something. All right, so this is just a, a quick tip to get this stuff in there quickly. And the good thing is, is that if, if you don't do something right, it's okay. QuickBooks is going to analyze the information before it saves it and say, hey, this doesn't look right. You need to fix this. Okay. So this right here can save you a bunch of time. Okay. And you'll see here that when you add the customers, okay, this is just adding basic contact information. All right. But then what you can do is once you get all these in there, let me close this. If you go over to the list drop down menu, and you say add, edit, multiple list entries, okay? You'll see here that it's gonna bring up uh, this uh, display here where you can change things across all customers. So for example, we have the customer list in here right now. And if you choose that, you can choose all the vendors, you can choose all your service items, etc. okay? So let's say you import all those customers, you paste them from Excel, and there are additional things that you need to add to each customer that weren't necessarily added in that copy and paste function when you added those. So for example, let's say the terms, all right? Or uh, let's say, you know, something else. And let me show you, if you don't see the column up there, you can right click, okay? do it down here and you can say customize columns and you can go through and you can add any of these columns. Okay. So you can take out these columns, you can add in these columns. And so let's say that we needed to, you know, add a, a, a price level. Okay. And you'll see then that when I go over now we've got the price level. Okay. So an example is you import that list. Okay, in that previous tip, and then we go to here and we say we need to add across all the customers the price level or the terms or the sales tax or whatever the case may be, you can do that in this screen all at once. Okay, so this, this can save you a ton of time as opposed to having to go into each individual customer and making a change. And you can also do this in an existing, you know, file instead of, you know, if, if you're not bringing in a bunch of new customers that you're pasting in here, just bring up your customer list or your vendor list or whatever the case may be, and you can make changes all at once. All right. One thing I like is that, you know, let's say service items. Okay. If you want to change the sales prices all at once, instead of having to go into each different item, uh, this can save you a bunch of time because you can just go in here and change it. All right. So it's kind of nice. Okay, and if you right click, you've got some options here where you can duplicate rows, clear columns, copy down, insert lines. I mean, you can do all sorts of things and you can even add new ones here. This just makes it a lot easier 
to add items, to adjust your customer list, your vendor list, employee list, etc. All right. Well, hopefully these couple of tips will save you some time in QuickBooks. Um, it's all about being efficient and making, making the software work for you. Um, if uh, you need to learn how to use QuickBooks and use it as a guide to help you make good business decisions, head on over to QuickBooks University. That's qbuniversity.org. We've got 45 training videos. We've got advanced videos uh, that really go through, you know, everyday scenarios that you may find yourself in, uh, such as, you know, what if I spend personal money and have to record that in my QuickBooks file? How do I record that? Or what if I accidentally spend business money on personal expenses and how do I record that? Okay. You know, uh, there's lots of training over there that uh, will really get you set up and working correctly in QuickBooks so that you can use it as a tool and so that you can start to make good business decisions. So I hope to see you over there, qbuniversity.org, and we'll see you soon.